Bengals picks in for the second round of the draft. We've already got AJ Green in this draft. Time to pick up another good player. Maybe like this, a man. Of course, you can't see with like the glares. Andy Dalton, no. It's my phone wallpaper. Yes. Let's get Andy Dalton. Yes. History just crazy me, but I got the bag of stuff on rapping since he with the 35th pick in the 2011 NFL draft. The Cincinnati Bengals select Andy Dalton. Yes, 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 yes. yes! I'm still pumped after that pick. Sorry if I broke your speakers. It's just, I've had this background, that's not my background, I've had this background on my phone that has my Facebook picture for a while. And it was just amazing. I cannot believe I loved him, because I love TCU, but not as much as Ohio State, but I've loved TCU, and I've loved Andy Dalton. And I was thinking Ryan Rao would be okay, but no, the Bengals take Andy Dalton, which I never thought would happen. I was going with my heart, calling it like, yeah, Andy Dalton's going to the Bengals, but I can't believe it happened. I'm so pumped. Oh gosh, it just, ugh. I can't describe how pumped I am. Hopefully, I didn't break your speaker with my last either video or part. I don't know if it's going to be in two different things, but yeah. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Bengals to the Super Bowl. Super Bowl. I p predict that every year, but I think it's going to happen this year. It's just, I can't b believe it happened. It's incredible. Incredible. <clears throat> yeah. Sorry. Sorry if I'm like dragging on this video. It's just it, that was the greatest moment of my life. Greatest moment of my life, I think. Greatest moment of my life. For real. Anyways, I'm CW Sumner 51. Peace. Bankos. In case you cannot tell, what you just watched was 11 year old me's reaction to the Bengals selection of Andy Dalton in the 2011 NFL draft. Here we are, almost nine years later nine seasons later and it's most likely coming to a bittersweet end with yesterday being Andy Dalton's last game as a Bengal most likely or at the very least his last start starter as a Cincinnati Bengal his game as a starter of the Cincinnati Bengals there that's what I was trying to say um I just this is like I said bittersweet for me as you can see that I was just so happy when that happened um like I grew up loving TCU and just being a fan of his 
it's like it was a thing of just me being hopeful because like i don't really remember hearing any like talk about their potentially oh the Bengals potentially taking him i just and like i was straight up like a kid who i watched nothing but um sports like sport espn just any type of sports like content all the time like i don't remember hearing anything about um andy going to the Bengals, and so and like i've been all in since day one like this is from his rookie year um I don't remember. I knew I got it for Christmas, but, like, I don't know if I... am pretty sure I told my parents, like, I wanted it before the season even started. Like, it's, it's Reebok. That's how old this is. It's legitimately from Andy Dalton's rookie year. And, uh... Like, I'll never forget the first game, like, I wore it for was the Christmas Eve game that year where Jerome Simpson flipped over the Cardinals defender into the end zone. At least I believe we were playing the Cardinals that game. Just we all know the flip. And uh that's just uh but I grew up I've always grown up a Bengals fan. I um don't have like very vivid memories from a or I don't have many vivid memories from before Dalton's time as a bangle um I remember like the signing of T.O. and that I remember the playoff game against the Jets I believe like it was the 09 season and then um that's like I don't remember much like I just I remember picking the Bengals because Chad Johnson it was extremely entertaining and yeah both Ohio teams sucked in the 2000s but Chad Johnson was entertaining so I wanted to go with that and that was basically how I chose that and then uh But basic, most of my vivid memories come from 2011 and on. And I've loved the ride we've been on with Dalton. I've hated some points like the last four years. But um, I can't deny just how thankful I am that I got to live in a Bengals time where five straight playoff appearances. Like they all mounted to nothing, but it happened. Like I know plenty of people who you know, grew up through the 90s, or at least lived through the 90s, and never, ever thought they'd see anything like that. Yet I got to experience this. At least we got to experience this. And then there's 2015, which, besides the Buckeye season this year and then the 2014 National Championship run, it's the most fun I've had watching any team, like, through one season. Well, football team. Watching the Heat during the big three era was extremely fun but football wise it's definitely the most fun i've had watching pro football would like it narrowly beats out the whole tebow era like the tebow time era and then uh it's like i said third behind like two of the best high state seasons i've been alive for so like and like Dalton very well could have been an MVP that year if he didn't get hurt. Should have got votes for the MVP regardless that he got hurt. But that's just I don't know. It it sucks to sit and dwell on it because like I I do it too much and I just constantly like I hate everything when I sit and like think about if Dalton didn't get hurt. But it just, he, he, AJ Green, you know, like we, we even go into Geo, um, Atkins, Dunlap, just 
all those guys like rejuvenated football in Cincinnati, and I'm so thankful for that. I, um, I cannot wait for the future for everyone involved in this. I can't wait to see what Dalton does in the future. Like, I hope they trade him to organization that has people in the front office that care just a slightly about football because he seriously it can uh, succeed if he just has people like has an offensive line that isn't the worst in the history of this foot the NFL and um, just more than like one main receiver he can succeed well we've seen it and I hope that wherever he does end up the city treats him well like the city of Cincinnati has never ever um, supported him like they should have it took the 2015 year for like anybody to be like oh yeah maybe maybe we were wrong about this guy and even then it's still just like after that the shaft like I, I pray he goes to somewhere that that will treat him better and then also I'm excited for Joe Burrow to come through I have been a big fan of Joe Burrow's since like I remember watching um, the Friday Night Football uh, wrap-ups here in Columbus and seeing Joe Burrow's senior year highlights from Athens and like I you know remember hearing that he committed to Ohio State and like watching and like this kid's good and I'm excited to see his future I never ever expected his future to be what it is sitting here maybe going to lead LSU to a national championship like that's I always thought he'd be you know Ohio State starter he very well could have been if he never for like injured his hand during spring but you know everything happened for the best I will I loved Dwayne the year of Dwayne Haskins I'm very thankful that Justin Fields is at Ohio State and um I'm happy that um LSU won found Coach O and like Burrow was able to just help all that come together because college football is I think College football needs someone like Coach O just living his best life. And just Joe Burrow's an incredible talent. Um, for most of this year, I've been wanting Chase Young and still do. But I think at this point in time, for, for everyone involved, it is best that just it, we move on, the Bengals move on, Andy Dalton gets, you know, to try somewhere else. And Burrow gets to take over and show what he can do. What I love, Chase Young and Andy Dalton, give Andy Dalton another year with hopefully a decent line and, you know, see that, uh, see if, he really is just this problem that, like, so many people think. And, you know, if, if he is the problem and he, he's bad, he'll lead us to another, like, top pick. And, you know, potentially Trevor Lawrence is there. I don't know. I, I would, like, part of me would love to just try that and have Chase Young on this team. Because I feel like a team with Dunlap, Atkins, Sam Hubbard, and Chase Young on that D-line... Like, I know three of those guys are DNs, and, like, I'm not saying that they'd all be the, like, people on the field. What I'm saying is those three guys, and, like, you were able to rotate between the, th well, those four guys, and you were able to rotate between the three ends. That's vicious. But, you know, I, I do think it's best that they take Joe Burrow. And uh, see where that goes. But I will forever be thankful for everything Andy Dalton does. 
and by some chance that you know Andy Dalton comes across this video you know just thank you for everything this ride has been incredible and I um you know you could always wish for better but like I really am happy that it's I was I've been able to watch this so thank you Andy Dalton